decided about four years ago after our nephew was born that we wanted to start a family because we just loved him so much like our own. Some of the last numbers at the fertility doctor that he wanted to see was a 10 and mine was 0.2 and the highest it ever got was 0.5 so it was still, he always said, impossible. You know, you just need this size of a mustard seed of faith and I didn't even feel like mine measured up to that but what little bit you have you just have to hold on to or you give up completely but just like keeping that belief alive what little bit you can. They doubled all the medication which already had terrible side effects and through all that we had the mindset it's going to be worth it. Just got to persevere, take it one day at a time and then a few months later the number was up to a 0.5. And that really devastated Rachel by trying to encourage her, like, you're moving in, in the right direction. One day, you had, like, an unction to get a pregnancy test. And yeah, like, just really to avoid more blood work, because I had blood work so often. And I was like, if I take a pregnancy test and just tell them it's negative, maybe we can go into the next round and avoid more blood work, because I was over it. And I took the pregnancy test to tell him it was negative because he had said there's no way and it was actually positive and was still like the most shocking moment of my life. And then she calls the doctor and the doctor's like, honey, that's exciting, but that's impossible. And he was trying to talk her every way and I told her, well, our, the doctor doesn't know about our Jesus. And then after that, got like released to a regular doctor. And I've had like, I got told the other day we had like the healthiest pregnancy possible. And now we're four weeks away. Thoughts are like seeds. You can dwell on the negative ones or you can throw them away. But if you focus on the positive thoughts and just let them grow, you'll see, you'll see the, just the beautiful fruit of it.